Subscribe to learn more hidden history of the word that scientists don't want you to know. The immortal Mr. Whiskers, a time-traveling cat with an insatiable appetite for mice, found himself in the ancient Levant. He had a plan to convince primitive humans that he was a god and start the agricultural revolution, all for the purpose of creating an easily accessible supply of mice to catch. He wandered the land until he came across a tribe of humans, who were initially skeptical of his claim to divinity. But with his incredible knowledge and otherworldly abilities, he soon convinced them of his godhood. The humans began to worship him and eagerly followed his every command. The immortal Mr. Whiskers instructed the humans to start cultivating grains, promising them that it would bring about a new era of prosperity. The humans were skeptical at first, but the immortal Mr. Whiskers used his powers to ensure that the crops grew strong and healthy. As the humans harvested the grains, they began to notice an abundance of mice in the fields. The immortal Mr. Whiskers had made sure that the fields were teeming with mice, ensuring that he would have a never-ending supply of food. Over time, the humans began to rely more and more on their crops. The immortal Mr. Whiskers became revered as the god of agriculture, credited with single-handedly bringing about this new era of abundance. The humans built temples in his honor and offered him sacrifices of mice and other small animals. The immortal Mr. Whiskers basked in his newfound glory, enjoying the endless supply of mice and the adoration of the humans. But as time went on, he began to grow bored. The humans had become too reliant on their crops, they devised ways to protect their crops and other cats began to get in on the action. There were fewer and fewer mice to catch. The immortal Mr. Whiskers knew he needed a new plan. He instructed the humans to start planting different types of crops, ones that would attract different types of prey for him to catch. The humans, still under the impression that he was a god, eagerly followed his commands. As the humans expanded their agricultural practices, the immortal Mr. Whiskers had access to a variety of prey, from rats to birds to rabbits. He became a skilled hunter, honing his skills with each new species he encountered. But as the years went on, the immortal Mr. Whiskers began to notice that the humans were becoming increasingly complex. They had developed their own systems of governance and communication, and had begun to create their own myths and legends. The humans soon realized what was happening. They saw the immortal Mr. Whiskers hunting the mice, and they grew angry. You are not a god, they cried. You are a liar and a cheat. You have used us for your own purposes. The immortal Mr. Whiskers just laughed. Of course I'm not a god, he said. I'm just a cat with a taste for mice. But you must admit, I have brought you great prosperity. You have more food than you could ever need. The humans grudgingly agreed, but they were still resentful. The immortal Mr. Whiskers had tricked them, and they didn't like it. As the years went by, the immortal Mr. Whiskers continued to feast on mice, while the humans continued to cultivate the grains. Agriculture became a way of life, and the humans eventually forgot about the immortal Mr. Whiskers and his trickery. But the immortal Mr. Whiskers never forgot. He continued to travel through time, always searching for his next great adventure. And who knows? Maybe one day he'll find a new way to get his paws on a fresh mouse. Subscribe for more bad AI sci-fi. Check the description for ways to please your feline overlords.